You know, being around a long time, uh, hopefully you get knowledge. And this is a wacky business, you know. You meet a lot of people pumped up on their own self, and they just into themselves, you know. And I can tell you some stories, boy, about some artists that had one record that turn your head. You know, there's a guy named Sam the Sham from West Dallas. Used to come around and sit in my band, and uh, he couldn't speak English good, let alone sing. And the band would get so mad at me because I let him sit in. And one night he came by drunk with a 53 Cadillac Hertz with Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs wrote on the side. He said, I'm going to Memphis to cut me a record. I'm going to be a star. And I was the only one that encouraged him, because you never know what's going to happen in this business, you know what I mean? So he went to Memphis, got a job as a janitor, told him to take out a little bit of his money every week till he cut a record. And he cut, bullet, 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 bullet. <laughs> but the only bad part about it, he stole it from a friend of mine, that big boy, <laughs> at the Empire Road. The record was called, holy gully, holy gully. And he just sang his words, thank you. And, uh, you know, he he got away with that. So he come back to Dallas at the Longhorn. He said, Bob Bowser, you don't want to help me, encourage me. And he gave me $700. I said, I encourage you more than that. <laughs> Your record is number one. What's wrong with you, Buck? Can you count? Well, he never, never had another hit record. Because, you know, free things happen in this, in this record business. And sometimes people that have less talent, uh, you know, get the breaks. Uh, Y'all excuse me, thank you Jeff for having me again. Yay. But I was almost late, because my cousin, I had taken to the doctor, he had two black eyes. And the doctor said, well, how did you get the black eyes? He said, well, I was in church, and I kneeled down to pray, and I noticed a woman in front of me her skirt was caught in her butt cheek. She had a widget. So I pulled it out. She turned around and socked me in the jaw and I. He said, that explains one black eye, how'd you get the other one? He said, well, I saw how upset she was and mad, so I pulled it back out and pushed it back in. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I didn't do that from Jeff. <laughs> that was a song that I did. Percy Slade was supposed to do this song back in the 60s and he got drunk and didn't show up so I, I did it. This was supposed to be the follow up to when a man loves a woman and a uh, person was somewhere, I don't know. When a man loves his whiskey, he was gone. So I just did this song called Long Ago and that's a mighty long time ago. Will it? Don't 
those happy days. Long ago, I guess I should have changed my way. Long ago, long ago, I always meant to come back home. Time to fly. Know how good that applause sound. <laughs> Tell me, never did a story on my life, and they were talking about my, uh, my, my popularity overseas, you know, in Scotland and Wales, especially up northern England. Northern England, man, they think I'm Michael Jackson or somebody, you know. <laughs> the first time I went there, scared me to death, you know, and 62 Rolls Royce waiting to take me somewhere. I said, like, What a cab! He said, there it is. Now I'm in the cab, I'm riding there. He said, that's it right there. So I get the treatment, and they say, well, you know, people in Dallas rarely know who he is. But I've helped a lot of people on the way in this music business. I was there when the first rap record was recorded. Uh, I was up to a studio in New Jersey called All Platinum. And I was making a deal on a record, and uh, Sylvia's son uh, came up saying, Mama, these boys rapping, they rapping, you gotta hear this, you gotta hear this. She said, I'm making a deal. He said, no, you gotta hear this. And the record they, they cut was the first rap record, the chicken tastes like wood, the hip hop, the hippity hop. And they changed the name of the record label to uh, Sugar Hill because there's a place in New Jersey called Sugar Hill. And it was a Sugar Hill gang. That was the first rap record. And a lot of the youngsters don't understand. Tupac was nothing but one part with a ham hock when I started. <laughs> If he can be 50 cent, I can be a quarter and walk on water, just like I order. Like Cisco and Poncho, I come to you in mono and stereo. Yeah. Trying to set a pace in this red race. That's why I'm on your case all in your face. That's what I'm talking about. Here's another one of my good friends that's gone on to glory. And uh, we had a lot of fun at the Eastwood Country Club and different places uh, down in San Antonio and stuff like that. One of my favorite people in the world. He was a real mother for you. Yeah. Uh. Get a light. 